Well, some local lawmakers introduced a new comprehensive piece of PFAS legislation in the impacted town of Campbell today. State Senator Brad Paff and Representative Jill Billings talked about some of the key provisions, which include having PFAS standards for groundwater and drinking water, a ban on non-essential PFAS products, and a mechanism to release the $125 million in funding set aside to help communities with PFAS testing and cleanup, something that was approved in the state budget last summer. Well, first of all, the $125 million trust was set aside in the last budget. It's been sitting there for eight months. Meanwhile, people in the town of Campbell have been drinking bottled water for three years. So I absolutely have a sense of urgency and impatience. Let's get that money out helping people uh, who are in the situation where there's PFAS contamination. Now, the Republican-controlled legislature recently did approve Senate Bill 312, which uh, earlier this week Governor Tony Evers said he would veto, citing new limits on what the DNR can enforce regarding PFAS contamination.